Well, before all of that, Hurricane Ian has strengthened to a Category 3 storm this morning as it slams western Cuba with 115 mile an hour winds. In Florida, residents are preparing for what is expected to be a Category 4 hurricane when it makes landfall somewhere along the state's west coast. It could hit as early as tomorrow. So Christian Benavides is in St. Petersburg with more. Christian, good morning. Good morning, Anna Marie. The Tampa Bay area has not had a hurricane make a direct landfall since 1921. If the current track holds this region and those who live here will likely see storm surge like never before, which is why people that are living in low lying areas have already been told to get out now. Up and down the west coast of Florida, people are bracing for the arrival of Hurricane Ian. They say mandatory evacuation. It's time to go. Ian has grown significantly in the past 24 hours and is expected to develop into a Category 4 storm with 140 mile an hour winds. Property damage and these things, you know, it's, it's terrible that that would happen in a storm, uh, but we can fix that and we can help rebuild, uh, but you got to take care of yourself. It's been more than a century since a major hurricane directly hit Tampa Bay, but officials there say the region's luck may have run out. This is not a drill. Be prepared for anything. That is a tremendous amount of water. You do not want to decide to evacuate when you see water coming under the door of your home. As many as 300,000 people may be forced from their homes. Now, Ian is expected to reach Category 4 strength within the next 48 hours. Anne Marie. You know, Christian, a place like Florida where they're used to hurricanes, sometimes officials will warn you, will warn you, will warn you, and people still insist, ah, I can ride it out. These warnings are pretty dire. Are people where you are taking them seriously? Well, look, Anne-Marie, I'm a native Floridian, so I can tell you that Floridians do get a lot of flack for not preparing when they see a storm coming. But let me tell you that people that we've spoken to, they are heeding those warnings. Of course, mm. there are always those outliers, and uh, they are very few that decide, hey, I'm going to ride this out. But officials just saying, do not do that. Just to give you an example, officials yesterday at a press conference said that to get from here, from the west coast of Florida, St. Petersburg, to Orlando, which is 110 miles away, normally that's a two-hour drive. Uh, officials are saying to prepare to be on the road from four to 10 hours if you're trying to Whoa. get to Orlando today. Wow, yeah, so you gotta get out now because you won't be able to get out later. Christian, thank you very much.